All right, very exciting. Willie Do, he's got a special package today. He pulled some strings. Would you look at this? Oh my goodness. Galaxy F O L D. I mean, this is highly anticipated. Let's be honest. This is the one people have been waiting for. I've been waiting for myself. I talked about this thing a lot, and now it's here. It's in front of me. This is a whole, this is a leap in a completely different direction. The slender phone and then the flip out scenario into an almost tablet-like experience. How's it gonna work? How's it gonna function? I don't know what better way to find out than to jump in the box, get the hands-on experience. Slide this out. Ooh, okay. Here we go. It's the box in the box. There's a number of combinations you can get. This one in front of me, silver with space silver hinge. Okay. Oh, it's got the Galaxy Buds inside. Okay, we got the Galaxy Buds. Now this device will feature the wireless charge sharing. You'll be able to drop this guy onto the Galaxy Fold and charge this up right from the device. The fast charge power brick, type C cable to keep it charged up, and the interchangeable ear tips for those Galaxy Buds that I mentioned. Now also in here, there is this little adapter that's for transferring your data over to the new device. Okay, but this is what you care about. This is what you're interested in, myself included. Look at how slim that is already. Oh, <laughs> this of course is the full fledged Galaxy Fold right there. <laughs> oh man, that's wild. Real quick. What, Jack? You never saw that before. Let's be honest here, okay? That's your phone. Or it's your tablet. What? We're talking here about OLED. If you didn't have OLED, you're not folding displays. You can see on the front here, two forward facing cameras. We flip it around to the back. You see a triple camera setup in this location. So we've got a wide, ultra wide and telephoto. This is already such an unusual experience with both hands, like holding it with both hands. Now we're catching our first glimpse actually at the keyboard and you see you get this split layout. There's a lot of different ways to unlock this device. Face recognition, fingerprint, pattern, pin, password. Let's give the fingerprint a go here. So fingerprint scanner right there, Jack. It's a side mounted scanner reminiscent of the Galaxy S10e. Scan in my thumbprint. All right, I think we're in. It's booted up. This is your, that's what you're looking at there. Now you can see the, the butterfly wings. What do wings do? They flap, they fold. So does the device, of course. Close it up for a minute. So this is a 4.6 inch display. It has nothing to do with the inside display. This is a supplementary display on the outside. It's 720 by 1680. Now this is gonna be useful, of course, for quick interactions, phone calls, things along these lines. You just need to pop this up to your face. And it's very slender, actually. I mean, it's got weight to it, as you'd expect. There's a lot of components at play. It's really interesting. Now there must be some kind of magnet at the end of it because when you get to the full close, it sits there. Let's say I've got YouTube open. And now I'm like, all right, I need a bigger display to navigate YouTube. I wanna watch some videos. You just flip this open and it's, it's quick. It's actually quick. You're scrolling around. You're looking for a video to watch. If you actually get into a video, let's say I click on this video playing here, flip it open. This guy right here, this is it doesn't skip. It's kind of like iPad mini territory, scale wise. So it's 2152 by 1536 at 7.3 inches. So it really is, it's like a small tablet experience to transition into a, a, a real immersive video viewing experience. You just flip it open. These devices have become such major consumption devices for us. You saw screens scale up over time on smartphones. Back in the day when the original Note series came out, everyone was like, that's crazy. People were like, no one's gonna put that in their pocket. And then inevitably, people did. Now it's commonplace to see somebody sitting on a couch with their smartphone sort of cranked up in front of their eyeballs in an uncomfortable position. But now, when you go all the way to this form factor right here, 
and you're kind of in small tablet territory, that entire experience has become less uncomfortable. Like a YouTube session on this thing is a totally different proposition than a YouTube session on a smartphone as it currently stands. But as far as I can tell, I mean, this is the biggest video watching experience I think I've ever had on a phone. It's super easy to hold, like you're holding it like this. This is real life now, guys. This is what it's gonna be on the street, on the bench, in the public transit. It's a whole new thing and you're gonna notice it from a mile away. I think this thing has fully engaged the sci-fi Lou right now. But what we're looking at is the convergence of these various devices into a singular device. Can this thing get to a point where it can legitimately replace the laptop as well? This is a real future. I'm convinced. Now keep in mind, like we said before, you close it down, it's like closing a laptop. It's ready for the pocket and it's slender and it's real fancy looking. This is a double tap to wake this up on the outside, like this. But then over here to unlock it. Uh, and then this is your screen off switch. And fingerprints unlock. When I'm out on the street, when I'm out just living life, how often do I transition between the two modes? I would think I could get by through a lot of scenarios in the clamshell. You're surfing the web, you know? You hit up Twitter. You're just, uh, it's a whole different thing going on. It's definitely expensive. We should talk about that. I mean, it's $1,980. Well, USD. It is a powerhouse though. 12 gigs of RAM in this monster. Snapdragon 855. It's got a 4380 battery. I really think it's the future. I, I, it's crazy to say. I didn't know I was gonna say it. This is some futuristic stuff, I don't... The 12 year old me, like holy moly, man. Like just when you thought things were getting stagnant. And now that's real. Now that's a thing. That's an actual, that's a thing going on. Now I do need to say, it's very important, okay? I do need to say, you can see where the display folds over. It depends on the background as well. I made videos on this. I expected this to be the case. And the truth is, I don't care. I don't care at all. This is magic. Ranting and raving aside here, it's still got a camera. Oh my God, look at the camera. The setup is very similar to the S10. You have the typical wide, you have the ultra wide, and of course you also have the telephoto. Here's telephoto first, typical wide, and then my favorite, ultra wide. Oh my goodness gracious. So that's your ultra wide image. There's your wide. And there's your telephoto. And as you can see, you can compose just like this, just like you normally would. Lot to grip onto there. So you can see in landscape, I can go ultra wide, quick, standard wide, quick, telephoto, quick, and then I can fold it out and I'm still in the camera module. Interestingly enough, the same cannot be said for the front facing cameras because of course we have two units here and a single unit on the outside. And we have a selfie a slightly wider image and a slightly closer one. Very nice. Wow. Jack, that's the uh, the biggest selfie we've ever analyzed here in the channel. That's a nice, that's a contrast. So that's a 10 megapixel camera. Now on the inside, you have the two camera modules there. You have a 10 megapixel and an eight megapixel. And we'll try these ones out as well. We'll see if we get any difference. So performance, I'd say is similar on the outside camera and the inside camera. Now, what about the speakers? So first, I guess we'll test it for dialogue with a typical YouTube video. Video that I made about Whoa. switching from Apple laptops, from MacBooks of all sorts. Look at Legit that. stereo. It's light, I'm enjoying and it. And loud. It's about the keyboard, in fact. Look at that keyboard, you see that, Jack? You have a speaker unit in this location over here and as well as on the other side over here. So legit stereo sound. That's convenient because then you can charge other things up with this brick in your bag. Let's try some music real quick. It's got a crispy sound, it's detailed, and you got sound on the left and right side. You actually have legit stereo separation, which is which is so unusual in the smartphone space. I mean, that's really impressive. I'm happy with that. What can we really say about it? You come into this thing, you want to be skeptical. It's your job to be skeptical. And, and of course, I can find a way to do that because of the price. It's still very expensive. It's almost two grand, and I, I realize not everybody's gonna be able to, to splurge and, and, and spend 
two G's. But you want to frame it a little bit differently, you can say, what if that individual is in the market for a tablet and a phone? I gotta say, just as a tech fan though, I mean, it's so refreshing to look at something that's so different, a completely different take on something that you're so used to. And then in the other departments where it just has to be a phone, first and foremost, it's kind of like a repackaged S10, which, I mean, you already know, one of the best phones out there. You guys have watched enough videos to know it's coming through, right? The excitement level, it's coming through or it's not. And, and this is legit, this is the real thing. All right, let's look at the other colors. Oh my goodness gracious, this is bananas. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, that is the blue, which kind of has like a cool purplish hue to it with the gold hinge. This one is gold on gold, or is that green? That's an emerald kind of green, greenish gold with the gold hinge. That's black with the black hinge. What are they calling this, Well, green? Martian green, okay, that's Martian green with the silver hinge, astro blue with the silver hinge, dark silver. Oh my goodness gracious. Kind of like outfitting the interior of a, of a luxury car. You don't just pick the color anymore. You pick the color, you pick the hinge. What a time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. Our smartphones are folding now. Like just stop and think about the engineering involved, all the people involved. When you start to imagine, then the appreciation comes in that ultimately we get to experience stuff like this because of all those people going after that ambition. That's always been exciting and it's products like this that bring me back to that excitement from day one. It's the reason this channel exists and it's the reason that it started. That's the Samsung Galaxy Fold.